if you wanted to see what different decibels okay. Are these were. decibels like 79 right here now? Yeah. Now what kind of sound is creating that? Is it so that's the sound? Yeah. So okay. when you're talking the landowners, this guy, um, but it's a whole family, and one of the guys is like Ben uh, Turner, but he's not one of the Turners, so I can't keep him quite straight, but that would be, yeah, somebody who loves him. I have another question. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. So just keep watching. I know it's almost cold, but I have a quick question. Someone asked me to ask you. How many of the I work on a lot of gas fire things that there's but wind projects. Wind projects probably over thirty. Over thirty? All over the US all over the US. Yeah, you travel Uh I I sometimes yes. Uh-huh. And have you had different results on any of the projects or uh, like, are you, do you find that wind just, uh, these turbines don't cause these issues? Or? I'm not sure. So what we, what we well, do here is we, we kind of find that, we kind of find that our predicted levels end up matching the uh, post construction So we do find, you know, our predictions are really, uh, truthed up, are truthed up with, with any sort of compliance on the end. What do you mean that they're too good? Well, like, they, they fall into the... They, yeah, we, we, that's right. Okay, so they, they're, uh, they we, fall into regulation. That, that, that's right. You, you, on all of your projects? So you haven't found any that... I'm not aware of any that I or others have found uh, that have had a, a compliance or, you know, we're, uh, we're, we're prediction. Regulatory limits were, were exceeded. Yeah. So do you go back um, to the sites after they've been there for several I'm years sorry. and that, that, talk to any of the residents who are having problems with it? Yeah. Because I know there's a lot of residents who are having issues like up on Lake Ontario. Yeah. You know. Yeah. What 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 we do is we'll, we'll do the predictive studies. And then we'll do kind of a compliance assessment. And then if there's some sort of investigation afterwards that we get asked to, to be part of, we, we would do that. But I haven't really had to been asked to. You, you haven't done that. So when so when the residents are complaining and they're asking for well, that know, compensation of, or that kind of goes back to you know the jurisdiction that's in, that, that's handling the project. And how the jurisdiction wants to handle wants to handle that that particular issue or, or, or set of concerns. I see. Okay, so you leave it up to the local. Yeah, I, I, I don't have I, I don't I don't have any. In this case, it would be our select board. Okay. We don't we don't have any. Yeah, we don't really have a lot of expertise in that area. So well, it's, it's kind of like any sort of permitting, you know, if there's a permit issue or a permit compliance yeah. concern or whatnot, then kind of the, 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 per, the, the agency that issued the permit kind of, you know, dictates what happens next. So it's not up to yeah. individual... And, and in this case, it would be our public service board. That's probably correct. Three members. Okay. Or, yeah, yeah. or the department or 